Um, I just, uh, yeah, I came across your group over the, over the internet and, um, you know, I'm a Christian myself. So, you know, I've seen, I've seen your group and I believe it was the, what was it? Entrepreneurial, uh, entrepreneur one. Yeah. Christian entrepreneur network. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So I just had a, um, a couple questions for you, if you just don't mind, um, answering just honestly and transparent. I just like to, you know, uh, you know, Jesus asks questions to know people's hearts. So I just like to ask questions as well. Um, do, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Absolutely. I'm totally fine. Okay. Um, the first question I have is, do you know for sure, without a doubt, a hundred percent that when you die, you'll be in heaven? Yeah. Okay. I appreciate you answering that. Um, the second question, more importantly, is um, why should God let you into heaven? Why should God let me into heaven? Yes. Well, because he came to die for my sins. And he wants his righteousness imputed into every man, which is the very reason. Uh, he died, right? And so, if I die today, I know that I'm saved as a result of his work on the cross, right? Okay. It's not, my, it's not my works. It's not my works. This is going to get me into heaven. It's my righteousness and obedience to God's commandments and living by his dictates. It is his righteousness within me. It is he living in me. And I living in him that's gonna get me into 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 heaven. And because I have, I've also believed in him and confessed that he is the son of God. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That that that's uh yeah, I mean I like to go by the, the word and the scriptures, for instance, um, for uh, John three sixteen, you might know that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Um, so it's the, it's the belief you did mention belief, but you also mentioned, um, your obedience as well. Um, but that's fine. Um, I, I mean, if you, you know, don't feel like I'm asking questions. I just like to know who I'm talking to. You know, the group is a Christian group. I'm a Christian. So I like to see where, you know, we agree or disagree. Just, so, you know, just like I have a, a, a nice dialogue here. Um, that's, that's totally fine. Perfect. Um, do, do you believe, um, well, well, you, you, you also said he. Um, uh, what, what, what is the name um, whereby we must be saved today? Uh, the, the he, I'm referring to Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah. Cause yeah, that, that, that's important, right? The name is important. Um, for there is none other name under heaven given amongst men, whereby we must be saved as Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Um, so just, just so you know, so what I believe is that I believe that, um, God, God almighty, God, the father came down from heaven. He manifests himself in the flesh as the son of God. Uh, he came unto his own and his own knew him not. He was a Jew and the Jews crucified him. He died on the cross for the sins of the world. He was buried. He defeated death in three days and he was seen among 500 witnesses. That is the, the gospel of your salvation. Did did you know that gospel? Absolutely. I'm a Christian, sir. Yes. Okay. Do you, do you believe that in your heart? All right. All right. So I totally believe that with my heart. Yes. Amen. Do you believe that Jesus? Do you believe that Jesus is God the Father? Jesus is God, absolutely, one hundred percent. Amen. Um. Uh. Do Do you have to be water baptized in order to be saved? Uh, 
Okay. And, uh, so, yeah. Well, well, I definitely believe. I so, definitely believe that water baptism is critical. It's part of the process. Okay. So, so, so there's a there's a there's a process to be saved. That's what you said. There's a process. So, Acts sixteen thirty and thirty one. It's uh Paul and Silas. They're in the Philippian jail, right? The jailer. Um, it says, and brought them out and said, sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved in thy house. Um, it didn't say water baptism. Um, he didn't say even um, anything. It says, believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. For by grace are ye saved through faith and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So, um, I've heard you say a few times, um, it's not of your works, which is you're absolutely correct, but also you're using terms, which I, that, that's kind of contradicting it sounds like, because when you say it's your obedience, guess what that is? That's your works. When you say you must be water baptized, guess what that is? That is a work. That's something that you must do, right? So all those things are, are, are works. And remember, and remember and remember, John, John was baptizing with water, and he said, there's going to be one after me that's going to baptize with the Holy Ghost. So it's one faith, one Lord, one baptism, but it's not a water baptism. It's the, bapti the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Well, of course, the water baptism, like I said, the water baptism is a sign, right? Um, there are so many attributes to Jesus, right? He's a fountain of life. Yeah. So there is always a symbolism the water. Do you need the Holy Spirit to be to fill you up? Because when you accept Jesus Christ into your heart, you know, the Holy Spirit is spirit. It is Christ himself. As a matter of fact, before he ascended into heaven, he said that, that it's a very it's expedient that I must go so that the Holy Spirit will come to you. Right. Uh, do you have so the Holy Spirit is very, very important in any Christian's life. Now when you believe in Jesus, right, believe in everything about Jesus, right? And so if Jesus Christ, you know, is the Son of God, they are believing in him. Jesus Christ was baptized himself by water. He did not oppose John baptizing him. And so why should we also oppose being baptized by you know in water? Well because okay. Right, because what okay, but 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 of course I understand when you say that you know, it is it is it is work. It's not a work that will save you. The key thing is you being obedient to, you know, to the Father, right? To Jesus himself. You know, whatever he has commanded. As a matter of fact, he told the, the, he told the disciples, when you go out to preach, go out to the water, preach the gospel to the poor, right? So once you bring the people in, you, you, you baptize them and then you teach them. It is in the word. Baptize them and then you teach them. You know, so... Well, um, well, I don't think it's contradictory. I mean, I mean, you're, you're definitely entitled to your opinion. Your own opinion. Um, when you, for me, what I believe is that if you believe in Jesus and then you'll be saved, right? You're believing in everything. You're believing in the in the finished work of Jesus. Okay, so when he came, he went through the process of baptism. You know, at some point, said the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Of course, it well, really was, it was, you know, the Holy Spirit came upon Mary, and then it was conceived. Right, but Jesus, so so Jesus being born and Jesus being baptized isn't what saves us today, right? The gospel, uh, the, the 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 death, burial, and resurrection, and the witnessing is what saves us. So we're we're sinners. We need a savior. So Jesus being baptized, he was a Jew. Back then, the, the Jews was a religion, and you're right, they, they require a sign. So at that time, yes, John was sent to baptize. He was sent for the baptism of repentance. But for the church today, the believer today, that is not what saves. That, that, is, that is a work-based, that is a, the, the, the Jews were baptized in those days, and Jesus was a Jew. So that's why Jesus was, Jesus was baptized. He was, he, he, he was, follow, he was following the law that was there, but absolutely, absolutely. right, absolutely. right. You know, so you know, you're absolutely right when you say uh, some baptism that was said because you can be baptized today and continue to live in sin. It does not mean that you know you're living the life that God wants you to live. Right. So, so which is to be holy because the Bible says that without holiness, no man can see God. Right. Without holiness, no man can see God. Without faith. No one. Oh, what does it say? It says, without faith, you cannot please God. 
without faith it is without faith it is impossible to please God. Amen. It is impossible to please God, right? Right. Now now at some point, this is what Paul said. He says you have faith, but I can I will show you my faith by my works. Well well we will well we well, 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 yeah, I like to go by the scriptures and the scriptures say every salvation based scripture, it, it, it doesn't say your work. So let me ask you this. Do you, do you believe that you must repent in order to be saved? Of course, you need to repent. OK, so so without repentance, without repentance. <laughs> well, but, but the question is, I, I think the question, the, 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 which problem is what are you repenting from? Now, repenting from sin. Okay, so without repentance, how then do you, do, you, do you get saved? Because you are already comfortable living in sin. So did Jesus you know? did, 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 did Jesus pay for your sins? He did. Okay. But he, so the but, act of repentance, right, is the recognition of the fact that somebody, you could not save yourself. So the, the, there, was, there was the need for somebody to come down and die to save you, right? So if you don't repent in the first place, you feel, you know that everything you're doing is right. That's what the Bible says, that there is a way that seems right, you know, before man, but the end thereof is, 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 you know, is destruction. And so living in sin and not realizing that you're living in sin in itself is a big problem that needs to be tackled, right? And so repentance is very, very important. At least it gives us that understanding that, okay, um, you know, you, you're open to to, to, to learning about the salvation message, you know, of Christ. And so if you're living in sin, you don't repent from your sin. Your sin is with you. You know, and for such a time that you recognize that I am living in sin, you're going to still die in your sin and go to hell. Okay. So um, that's just not scriptural. Um, but let me read Romans um, uh, one sixteen. Really quick, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. Oh, it doesn't say to everyone that repentance. Oh, it, no, it doesn't. It says to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek, for therein is the God is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness, because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God hath shewed it unto them. So the gospel of the gospel of Christ is the power of God unto salvation. That's it. And do you know where the gospel of Christ is found in, in the in the scripture? Well, there's only, I mean, there's only one gospel in which we're saved by today. And you must believe that gospel. I gave you my report of the gospel, but the gospel is the, the, the declaration of the gospel is actually found in first Corinthians one through six. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel, which I preached unto you, which also ye have received and wherein ye stand by which also ye are saved. We are saved by this gospel. But but Paul's already talking to brothers here. He's already talking to believers. If ye keep in memory what I preach unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ, that's Jesus, died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures, and that he was seen of Cephas, then of the twelve, after that, he was seen of above 500 brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain unto this present, but some are fallen asleep. After that, he was seen of James, then of all the apostles, and last of all, he was seen of me also, as of one born out of due time. So that is the gospel. And also, um, yeah, my friend, it's just about believing that gospel. That that's if, if you're gonna base it on your works, you're gonna fall short, and you're gonna be judged by your works. So, the Jesus paid for all sin, and I get it. Your your obedience. Let me read Ephesians one thirteen, or no, Ephesians two. 
This is a key. key do, do you do you read the King James Bible, or do you have a? Do yeah, I, I don't have the King James Bible. Okay, that, that that's probably where you should start. The King James Bible is the Word of God. Any other translation that that that's a that's men's attempt at words God at at, at God's word. Sorry, but here, um, Ephesians two eight nine and ten. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. So it's not even our faith that saves us. It's through faith, and that not of ourselves. So that's Jesus' faith is what we're saved by. It is the gift of God. If I walked up to you right now and I gave you a gift and I walked away, um, do you have to do do you have to do something to pay that gift back? That's a gift, so I guess not. Right. Amen. Not of works, lest any man should boast. For now, this is talking about believers. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. So should and must are two different words. God, God is very particular with his words. As a believer, yes, absolutely. We should walk in good works. We should repent you know, daily we, we live in the flesh. We have to put on the whole armor of God every day. But Jesus paid for the sin of the world. He paid for all sin. He paid for the sin that you're going to commit tomorrow. Would you say, do, do you still sin today? We all sin. Amen. So what happens if you die in the middle of, 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 of sinning? According to your obedience and according to your work-based belief that you were talking about, if you died and you were sinning, let's say you got in a car accident and, you know, you were lusting after something. That's a sin. So according to your to your uh, gospel. Right. You wouldn't make you wouldn't make it to heaven, according to that, if that was true. What about what about people who or who are married a second time, which is a, which is a, a not so talked about thing in the Christian community? How, you know, divorce is a man made thing it's not of god god once you're married you're married once right and and but there's people christians even that are married a second time and they're sinning daily and they don't even know it so what happens to them that's why jesus that's why god is so good at, we live in the gospel of grace not of ourselves so that do you believe do you believe that um those who are married a second time would mix to heaven if it's all about believing in the gospel, that is, that is what it is. If they believe, yes, it's all about their belief. Now, what the waging of sin? The wages of sin is death, right? So, so if you continue to sin on this earth, you will die quicker. God will kill you. But it has nothing to do with everlasting life. God promised us everlasting life. So let me read Galatians as well from Paul, because Paul is who we follow today as the church. Jesus, what, what Jesus didn't die on the cross yet. So everything that Jesus preached, he was preaching to the Jews. He was preaching repentance. He preached the kingdom of God is at hand. That's not our gospel. We preach the king. We don't preach the kingdom. You, you, Paul never preached the kingdom. Paul preached the gospel of our salvation. And this is Paul in Galatians 1. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. So they, they, who he's talking to, the believers have heard another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. So whatever belief, and it's not, not, not nothing personal, but whoever, whoever you follow or the church business you go to, wherever you got, you got another gospel. That and, and Paul's going to tell you how you should treat that gospel, um, which is not another. But there's there there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you, that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. As we said, so as we said before, so I say now again, he repeated himself. If any man preach any other gospel unto you that ye have received, let him be accursed. So that the, that works following the law, all that that was that was that's not for us. That that is a workspace. God, you're going to be working your way 
and 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 God forbid you die, you 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 took you took the the death on the cross, the death burial and resurrected uh the resurrection and the witnesses from the cross. You took that and said, you know what, Jesus, thank you for doing that, but that's not good enough. I still gotta I still gotta obey, be obedient. I still gotta repent every day. I still gotta do that. So we got to rightfully divide the word of truth. And for salvation, I'm strictly... You, you, you don't believe in repentance, right? That's not what I said. Do you see? You, I, I believe repentance is, is, is important in a, in a Christian's life, but it's not going to get you to heaven. You see, there's, there's, I just said, I just said... So, what, so what, you don't believe in restitution? Is that, am, I, am I right? Do you believe in restitution? I believe in the word of God. That's what I do, believe. Do, do you believe in restitution, though? I don't know. Yeah. Clarify what you mean by that. I don't know what that means. Restitution is when you run somebody. When you run, and when you run somebody. You wrong. You run somebody, and you know, after a while, um, you you go back to that person. You wrong. I mean, you earn. That's what I'm talking about, right? Is that is, is is that a sin? Wronging somebody. Yes, you do something bad to somebody. Okay, did Jesus... You don't, you don't think it's a sin? No, I'm asking you, is it a sin? Of course. And if you sinned one, if you sinned before, you didn't, if you sinned once, haven't you broken the whole law? Absolutely. Okay, and did, did Jesus pay no, for... Did, did Jesus... I was trying to explain to you what restitution... You said... You what right, restitution right. You so I was right. trying to give you an idea for restitution is before we come into the context, you know, before, you know... So that at least if you understand what that is, then we can further our conversation. Right, right. I get what you're saying, and I, I'm sorry. So, I'm, so, you I'm, I'm, so you understand what restitution is, right? I, I, I understand what sin is, and that's what I'm getting at. I, like, what, what you're bringing, sin is sin. Did Jesus pay for all sin or some sin? All of it. All sin. Okay. So th there's one there's one sin that Jesus didn't pay for. Do you know what that is? It's the sin of unbelief. Because the unbeliever is in the wrath of God, and the, the unbeliever can't can't understand it. It's in the he's in the wrath of God. John three thirty five. John three thirty five or John three thirty six. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. It doesn't say believeth and repentance and be obedient. No, he that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. So the, the unbeliever is having it has the wrath of God. It's all about your belief. You must believe the gospel which I preached unto you today. And that's why I called because God sent a preacher, just like in Romans 10, talks about. In Romans 10, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth, the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. I'm I'm, give, I'm going over salvation scripture over salvation scripture about being saved, and it has nothing to do with repentance. It doesn't say it not once. Not one scripture says you must repent to be saved. For with the heart man believeth, there's that word again, unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. If you go down to verse 13, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And then this is the key part right here. How then How then shall they call on him in who, whom they have not believed? Question. And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? Question. And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace. And bring glad tidings of good things. Right. So that, that is great. Everything is spoken of is in the Word of God. I believe you're reading from the Word of God, which is awesome. Um, so, I guess my question is um, so you don't believe in repentance or restitution because it is not categorically stated in the Word of God, right? Um, so, you're going, you know, based. You know, you're, you're, you're taking, you know, your um, that, your position based off of the word, which is, which is great. Um, however, um, when Jesus Christ himself came, he said, repent, 
repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. So this is the words of Jesus himself. So what do you say to that? Who was he talking to? I was talking to everybody around him who had his voice. Okay. He was preaching. But, but, yeah? yeah. He was but, telling everybody to repent from their sins for the kingdom of God is at hand. So what would you say to that since it's, it's a, you know, it's very clear that you don't believe in, you know, repentance because you believe that, you know, Christ came to save us. And indeed, Christ came to save us. But and so I, my position, you know, what is the scripture? What is this? What did? What is the scripture that you're talking about? It's in Matthew, right? Or uh, Mark or Matthew? Uh huh. Mm-hmm. You know which one? Uh, forgotten. I may have to check. I don't have my Bible with me right now, so. Okay, give me a second. Yeah, sure. That's a good question, though, because people don't understand the precepts upon precept. Mm-hmm. So. Let me ask you this as well as I answer your question, and I'm gonna. It might sound like um, they're rhetorical questions, but I just want to be clear. I don't want to put words in your mouth, right? Um, okay. Uh, did so since it's, 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 it's a rhetorical question that you don't need an answer, then, right? Well, but you can go ahead and answer. Right. Well, I I need a, when I say rhetorical question is uh, I don't want to assume that I know your answer. Um, cause I like to hear it from you and, and to see, cause it may be, I may be wrong. Um, well, I can definitely give you my, you know, right. My so, so when Jesus was yeah. preaching, did he die on the cross yet? No, he wasn't there. Of course, if he were dead, he wouldn't be. <laughs> I mean, even after, after his resurrection, he did, you know, he did, you know, meet people and talk to them, but he was not necessarily preaching. Um, so, um, I would say, you know, he he, said he he preached before before he you know he died on the cross. Yeah. Right, right. So he was preaching to the Jews. He was preaching to Israel. So he was the, preaching to the Jews because he came. Right. Did, the did, Jews. Just like Apostle Paul, you know, was mandated by Jesus Christ to reach out to the Gentiles. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Right. So are 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 we Jewish today? As the church, are we are we the Jews? We are God's people. We are God's children. You know, I think that. What, what is key is that, um, well, as you read from the beginning, uh, you know, even the whole Jewish people came, it's very important to look at the historical background, you know, or the context, you know, in which certain things are written. And you realize that the Bible is a historical book, right? It's a word of God, so it gives us an account of, you know, yeah, um, people, right? And so how did the Jews come about? I, I think it's a question I really need to ask ourselves. Well, that's not... God selected, God selected, you know, from from Abraham, right? Um, to Jacob, so these were the children of Jacob, right? Who became Jews, right? And so, um, but there were other people, just like we have the Gentiles. Right, but right. let me answer your question right, so, though, because I, I don't, I don't want to get off topic. So, because okay, so, you asked me, do I believe that what what Jesus was saying was accurate, and do I believe in? Because if Jesus said to repent, why don't we repent today? Well, that's what I mean. The the believer understands the precept. When when we our apostle today is Paul, so we follow Paul in what he preached in his gospel. Jesus, Paul said, "Follow me as I follow Christ." Right. So that's that's our apostle today is Paul. So when Jesus was when when Jesus was walking the earth, he didn't die on a cross yet. Sins weren't paid for. He didn't fulfill the law. So, yes, he was still preaching repentance because they were Jews. So they they needed to repent. The kingdom of heaven was at hand and even the kingdom of heaven. God's going to create a new heaven and a new earth. So that was a different gospel when Jesus was on the earth. That was for the Jew. So I do believe in the word of God. I don't believe that Jesus was preaching the gospel of grace, the gospel of peace. Well, it is all one gospel, but he God gave it at different times. So he gave it when Jesus was preaching. That wasn't to the church. That wasn't to us today. Okay, I know you read. I know you read a 